Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidero Astrology Forecast. This is for Monday, July 22nd, 2019. All right, so today, uh, no major aspects going exact astrologically, so a bit of a uh, space kind of day, um, especially because the moon is going to be in Pisces, watery Pisces. So the theme of the day is likely around maybe getting a bit of space energy, a bit of going into the void, uh, maybe some presence, makes it a really good day for maybe some rest and relaxation, maybe some spiritual development, uh, maybe even creativity as well with Pisces. So really good to develop this uh, energy at this time with the lunar cycle. Speaking of which, we are still definitely in this uh, eclipse cycle. We just had that lunar eclipse last week. And so if there were any shifts and changes from last week or some things that you released, it is still a great time to implement um, those shifts and changes and just continue to move energy forward um, for whatever has been uh, coming into your life over the past week. All right, so along with this, um, again, no major astrological events. We do have the moon passing over Chiron, so there could be some maybe uh, feeling refreshed or healed emotionally. And, uh, and yeah, and we'll do a quick uh, weekly recap as well just to see where all the planets are placed at this time. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here is the sky for this Monday. And again, we are using the actual size of the constellations as seen in the visible sky. This uh, does change the signs from mainstream astrology. So if you do notice some of the signs that I'm mentioning are different, be sure to check out the link down below for more information on true sidereal astrology. All right, so let's take a look here at the moon first. The moon represents the sort of theme of the day and also how we're feeling internally. Now with the moon in Pisces, this is, Pisces represents the vast sort of oceans of life, you could say. It's about going into that void energy, into that space. This could be a great time of deriving sort of insight or awareness from our intuition, maybe from the present moment, or again, just from some space, new things can emerge from that, right? So making it great for rest, making a great time for meditation or other spiritual activities, and also creativity, right? Because especially imaginative sort uh, types of creativity is all about going into the ethers, right? And then sort of deriving that imagination or that uh, sort of inspiration or whatever it is that we again pull from this vastness of life. So really good to develop this energy and this side of ourself with the moon um, here today. Now we are in the eclipse cycle still, of course. We just had that lunar eclipse last Tuesday. And so we are uh, in this disseminating phase still, which is about implementation, right? So if there were any shifts and changes from a week ago or some things that you released and then maybe made a, a pivot along your life journey, could be a really good part of the week still to implement this stuff, whether it's an insight or just a fresh new start or whatever it is that um, has been in the mix the past week. All right, so with that being said, um, no major aspects going exact today, uh, but we do have the moon passing over Chiron, who's been in Pisces. And so in this sense, nothing major, but maybe feeling just a bit healed or rejuvenated or refreshed with what could be our emotions, our feeling or these our feelings or the sort of internal energy. So again, in Pisces, this is healing that side of our self, right? Chiron in Pisces has been healing us when we are willing to go into the void, when we are willing to surrender what's outside of our control and live more presently, right? And get into that more present state. So a uh, really good day for healing in anything in that regard. And again, things like meditation or spiritual act activities could actually be very therapeutic um, with the moon passing over Chiron. All right, so that's it in terms of the energies of today specifically. Definitely a lot of that watery Pisces energy. Now let's do a uh, weekly recap to see where all the uh, fast-moving planets are. So of course, we still do have Mercury retrograde, and Mercury recently just passed over the sun. So if yesterday on Sunday you maybe came to some new awareness or maybe there was a shift along um, some things you were thinking about have been reworking in your life, it is a great now second half of this Mercury retrograde, the next week and a half, 
to continue to rework and redevelop any of these things that we could be mulling over, we could be redoing in our life, or again, just kind of um, going into that reworking process. So uh, good to be flexible and adaptive with Mercury retrograde, because of course things change, information changes, and so we do want to be adaptive. And just always having, you know, this, uh, you know, kind of approach to it where we're willing to learn, right? Mercury retrograde is an excellent time for learning, trying new things, experimenting, so long as we have that extra plan A, B, C, and D for the information and situations to change, we can often be the case with Mercury retrograde. So this is all in Cancer. We have a lot of energy in Cancer. Mercury here, the Sun now, and Mars has been here for quite some time. So a lot of themes maybe at the moment regarding the past, a good time to be focused on the past in the sense of what comes up, what arises, what can we accept about it. Um, focusing more on the intrinsic values of life, like our feelings and emotions right now, and creating a protective environment for ourselves and others is a really good way of working with cancer energy, right? So I'm um, doing that so we can connect to our intrinsic values right now. What is important on an emotional level and how can we care for and protect these things and people and ourselves in this you know, nurturing, caring, and protective way, which is uh, really good at this time with all these planets here. Now, Venus is uh, finishing up Gemini, is going to be shifting into Cancer this week. So um, still a good time, though, to be enjoying some new and different things with uh, communication in relationships, uh, maybe some learning just in general, picking up a book, doing some writing can be enjoyable, and just sharing and exchanging with others. Venus is the planet of relationships. Gemini is about inquisitiveness, learning, communication. So really good way of working with that kind of energy at this time. All right, everyone. So that's the uh, recap there. A lot of water energy really at the moment with this Cancer and Pisces and a little bit of air energy there with Venus and Gemini. All right. But the theme of the day and going into the next couple days, it is still a really good time for, again, getting into that space, developing that watery side to life, that watery approach to life, feeling the currents of life, putting energy into the currents and um, yeah, developing things like our uh, intuition, spirituality, creativity, etc. All right. So everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow for the daily forecast. Take care.